Remember when this asshole had the nerve to say the following? What if the problem is me? AVGN is what it's always been. The truthers claiming that the show is bad now are getting spooked by their own shadows. It isn't bad now, but good in the past. You're just getting older. Idiot. This is the episode where we debunk that absurd claim. This is Every Nerd Ranked 203 Superman 64 Returns. We open with the Rocky sequel style, reminding us of what happened at the end of the previous Superman episode, then transitioning to a quirky B-movie style return. And then... He's gonna I missed that song. The first Superman 64 episode was like peak golden age nerd. But he played so little that this is a chance to rectify it and fully recover the rest of this classic turd. His revisited episodes are among my favorites, and he's prepping us that this gets worse. Much worse. He covers some interesting facts he missed. The story of the game is that Lex Luthor has hidden Lois Lane, Jimmy Olsen, and Emil Hamilton in his virtual world. This entire video game takes place inside a video game but unfortunately misses key facts, like how the game had such an awful draw distance that the publisher claimed it was kryptonite fog, and when folks weren't buying it, that's when they decided to set it in a virtual world instead. You'd think a genius like Lex Luthor would use his ability to create anything in a virtual world, so what did he decide on? You know. Rings. James goes back to the rings, he goes through similar frustrations with awkward controls, rules, and clipping. These guys are not hard to take out, but I can't land! Oh, and now I'm through the floor? And as I'm watching, it's starting to click with me the difference between classic versus modern AVGN. Like, compare this energy here... Wait, I don't even get to try again? I'm back at the fucking rings again? ...to this. And then, then, oh, yeah, 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 of course. I, yeah, I, I should have expected something like that. These two Superman 64 episodes are perfect to watch side by side to see the most notable quality differences. The only thing worse than an impossibly bad game is not even being able to kill yourself. Not sure how I did it, and I don't care. What did it say? Something about cars? You're not even giving enough time to read it. And I'm so sick of saying Shadow Guy. Do I actually get to punch people somewhere in this shitload fuck of a game? I guess I'll never find out, but why are these punches so awkward? Get ready for this epic boss battle. Well, that was anticlimactic. So what the hell is this shit? You should be fighting bad guys, not testing your flight skills with some of the worst control accuracy ever in a video game. At least it's not rings. Then there's no time to waste. <laughs> Fuck! You gotta be kidding me. I'm stuck again. I'm nowhere near the wall. Look how much room. Look how much room. How can I be stuck when there's so much room? Glitched. Again. Now I gotta play that whole maze all over? Oh man, this game is such shit. What? I don't even get to try again? I'm back at the fucking rings again? Oh gee, and you have to start the whole level over because there's no checkpoints. Looks like Superman's stroking his super dick. Oh, oh dear. Uh, where am I? The Phantom Zone? Um, good one, James. I mean, it's night and day. No. No way. <laughs> this is kind of reminiscent of the way he handled Big Riggs, where he laughs and lets the game do the talking. But when comparing styles, this one feels like he's acting. Again? while the original Superman 64 makes it feel like you're going through the experience with him. You see that building? I'm just gonna crash into it. Well, that didn't do a damn thing. You mean you can't die? Well, absolutely not. You're just stuck in limbo. A theme I'll keep harping on is that great AVGN is a voice for the audience. I remember feeling frustrated as I played Superman 64. I wanted them to capture that. This AVGN is so resigned by comparison. Not sure how I did it, and I don't care. And then we're at a subway. Not the fast food place, but the 
actual Subway. I'm sorry, what's the joke? Why would I have thought Subway sandwiches? I'm on the outside of the game looking in. Uh, and then... Break the boundaries of existence. Superior gameplay lets you exceed the laws of physics. Now, if this wasn't an episode with enough callbacks, he gives us... Where did you learn to fly? Jeez, that's a face I didn't miss. Where did you learn to fly? That went on for about a minute and a half where he tries to fit in some facts about Superman's history with flight. This all might have worked better if this episode didn't already have enough themes and we weren't running about 16 minutes long. And I keep thinking as I write this that I'm going to get to the point where I wrap this up, but... Alright. Oh, what the shit? I'm gone five minutes and already I have four replacements? Get out of here! The original Superman 64 video was focused on an awful game and his frustrations which was enough material in and of itself. And this is suddenly a series of running gags. It's like South Park's interpretation of Family Guy. Remember when I auditioned to be David Hasselhoff's car? It mercilessly ends with the fight scene with the cartridge and the scream. Wow, that was really intense, James. So yeah, a an episode that was ready to rank way higher just went to shit and reminded me much more about what we loved about the past. James hasn't moved. I've moved. AVGN is what it's always been. No, Dan, this is BS. The show has changed and you know nothing about it. So don't return to Superman 64 Returns. Yeah.